Hey everybody, Angry Poncho here, and we are back playing Super Mario Sunshine, and now we are headed back into Noki Bay for episode 4, Eevee Mouth Dentist, which is the level where we finally figure out what it is that was actually causing, or is in this case, actually causing the problems with the uh, water quality here in Noki Bay. Turns out it's poor dental hygiene, which uh, <laughs> I have some uh, theories about dental hygiene and the way that things actually work in the world. I think that some of the things we were told as kids weren't actually true, and other things that we should have been told, we never were. So, anyway, I don't want to get into that, because I don't want... <laughs> I don't want to tell you guys what I actually think about the way dentistry, dentistry should work, but... Because your parents will hate me if they ever find out what I said. Anyway, I get... Oh, that was a nice little flip there. I can appreciate that. Hey, now, anyway, now we get to wear this cool little dome thing as we head our way back up to the, where we fought the cannon dude in episode one, and I wish I could jump, jump off the wall right there, but apparently they don't like you to jump off of angled surfaces that are angled uh, the wrong direction. Or either direction, I think. I don't think you can wall jump off of... I don't think you can wall jump off of any really angled surface. Anyway, what we want to do is basically... I think we want to just come up here and jive, dive off, right? Or, oh, we probably want to go out here, don't we? What do you have to say, old man? Look if you're ready! The gunk in the ocean is caused by a giant eel! Oh, it's nursing some cavities there. Really? Maybe it needs to brush its teeth more. Anyway, but all we need to do to get down to where the eel is... Yes, a gap in the pollution. Right in the... Okay, get it. stop talking to me. This is why I don't talk to you guys. You're talking forever and you don't actually say anything. At least not anything useful. So anyway, just dive from the top and you'll hit the... little open spot and sink all the way down. And Now we wait for a while. As we sink down to the bottom of the level, and you can see his, you can see his eyes down there. He's watching us. I'm not sure if spraying above you would make you sink faster or not. I don't think it has any effect on your speed, to be honest. Probably not. Anyway, now we keep... we just wait. <laughs> Mario? My sense are so highly toxic, materials approaching. Yeah, don't run into any of those bubbles there. Those are not good for you. Alright, so we're gonna sink down nice and low in this guy's face. And he's going to rock it up towards us, and we want to hover away from him, so he doesn't eat us. And essentially, we're going to try to brush his teeth with a harbor nozzle. Which actually isn't that hard. Get above one of his teeth and sort of just tap the right trigger, rather than holding it down. Because when you hold it down, it tends to make you move around, which will cause you to move away from uh, wherever it is he's going. Which Here, you kind of have to hold it down, because otherwise you'll get sucked into his mouth. Which I don't know how much damage that does, but I presume that you really don't want that to happen to you. Oh my god, I'm about to die. All right. I gotta, I gotta break away from the fight for a bit so I can take up some coins. Because you will, uh, die of, like, drowning, despite the fact that you have this helmet on. <laughs> kinda confusing to me. But anyway, so we here to pick up six coins from right there, that's easy. You'll we'll find coins all over the place in this level, so it's really not a trouble, not any trouble at all. So we sink down, and see if I can scrub this tooth down here. The lower ones are harder to get, FYI, so... We wanna go for those first, so that you can get the- so you're not trying to get them in a hurry later on when you're, like, running out of air and stuff. Some of the some of the teeth, for some reason, when you clean them, fall right out of his mouth. Which would seem like kind of a negative impact on his on his dental hygiene, actually, for him to be missing teeth, but I guess that's what I mean that's really what we do when you have really bad hygiene, is we just remove the tooth entirely. If it's that bad. I mean there's there's only so much you can do with caps and cra <coughs> crowns and that sort of thing. Alright, come back up here, dude. There you go. And I hear my capture card fouling up. I hope that doesn't show up in the recording. It's weird. Sometimes when it when it screws up, it like would you just come up here already? It's spinning around. Making me die, man. Well, he's not making me die. The fact that Mario can't breathe under the water is making me die. But nonetheless, the the, the uh, eel -y thing at least seems at least partially responsible. Oh wow. Okay. Well, apparently I ran into an air bubble or something because I just got my life refilled. That's nice. But yeah. Sometimes when that capture card fouls up, it'll... I only... it seems like only I'll see it. Because it'll screw up in my ears, and I'll hear the sound, like, skipping, and I'll look over and see that it's dropping frames or something. Don't get eaten! Don't get eaten, Mario! But, uh, other times... And then I'll go look at the video, and it turns out that exactly what I heard is showing up in recording, which is bad. I don't like that. And then other times I'll go over there and find out that even though I heard problems, it actually recorded just fine. Which is really weird. It just kind of trips me out, too. So, like, I never... I never stop the recording when something like that happens. I just sort of ignore it and then hope that it worked. I know I'm kind of taking a risk here letting my air get this low, but... I'm oh crap, I'm on the wrong side. 
Alright, forget it. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna die by drowning, because that would be a really lame way to die. And I'm really close to it. I need to get that coin. Sink faster, Mario. Sink faster. Oh, thank god. Alright, we're fine. And I can pick up all these coins here. We'll be, we'll be good to go. Go pick, pick up that last purple tooth. If I get back up above this guy's head, that would be nice. There's his last bad tooth. See if we can work our way over to it. Mario turns really slowly when you're underwater using the hover nozzle as your main nut. Don't sink down now, dude. I'm trying to brush that gold tooth right there. Which is kind of funny, because it seems like he's already had some work done if he's got a gold tooth in his mouth. So why are we here? Why, don't, why didn't his dentist that put that gold tooth in just do it for us, you know? Maybe he didn't do a good enough job or something. I don't know. There we go, we got it. And <laughs> Flood gives us the nice moral of the story, which apparently in it for this episode of Super Mario Sunshine is... Don't forget to brush your teeth. At least, uh, I thought it was something to that end. And that gold tooth that we removed from his mouth becomes the shine. And look at that. He left us a, a heart-shaped uh, pattern of coins. If we can look down, you can see it down there. I turned the camera so it's upright. You can see that? You can't, it's rather hard to see among the bubbles. I'll get a little closer so you can get a look at it. Basically, all we have to do right now is sink down and pick up the shine anyway. But yeah, see it? See it there? Look at the heart-shaped orientation of, of those coins. That's kind of neat, I guess. If you like heart-shaped coins patterns. Anyway, that's all for episode four. And I said I wouldn't say it. Actually, I said I would say it. We have reached 60 shines, the exact halfway point of the game. Actually, we've probably done more than half of the, of the actual work that's required to beat the game just because we've got so many of the blue coins. In fact, there's only 70 more blue coins in the game for us to at least... That's not right. There's only 90 more blue coins for us to pick up in the game. So we've already got 150 out of all of them. El Pantismo's Surf Swim? That's kind of a contradiction. Surf Swim? Oh well. Let's head up there and go beat him in a race, just like we did in, uh... What was that level called? I can see it in my mind. Ah, yes. Episode something or other of Gelato Beach. Ho oh, ho ho, foolish man! I am El Pantismo! I'm not going to read him anymore. And I think for this one, I'm going to say hi at first, and then hover over to the land as, p as much as possible, because swimming for Mario is just really slow. So basically what we want to do is... Yeah, he's taking the same strategy I was going to take. Stay up high at first, and whoa, if that little fist right there may or may not help us. But sir... Oh, no, 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 that's just not a good time to be eaten by fish. Get the freak out of here, dude. That's not cool. So do I have to beat him, or do I just have to beat his 40-second record that he had listed? Or that he had told us about? To get out of the water. Wow, this seems... If he's still behind me after getting eaten by that fish, this level is far too easy. Bump, da 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 and we lower the flags on top of the thing. Okay. Wow, that was embarrassing. I got eaten by the fish, and I still beat him by, like, 10 seconds, at least according to his best time. 40 seconds? Seriously? Wow, that's... I'm not... Yeah, uh, alright. Hmm. Hey, we got enough time left to do episode 7, why not? This is just chasing Shadow Mario around, which actually could be a pain, considering the way the Noki Bay is put together. And I will tell you right now, the blue coins of Noki Bay is going to be absolutely awful. I am not looking forward to that at all. In fact, we're probably going to do World 7 before we come back and do the blue coins for both of the worlds. All in one video. Because the blue coins for Noki Bay is just absolutely... Horrible. I thought I was on episode 7, but I'm actually on episode 6, so hopefully I can beat this circuit, this secret in one or two tries, that way it will actually fit into the video. I love it when the footage I record actually fits into an 11 minute segment on YouTube. Which, I mean, uh, the whole youth, like, length restriction on YouTube videos is an understandable and necessary restriction, but eh, it still kind of gets to be a pain sometimes, you know? Because I want my videos to be a lot longer than 11 minutes sometimes, like when I've got a long bit of stuff I need to do. Like, any one of those blue coin videos could usually go like 25 minutes, and that would be totally acceptable. And I wouldn't be showing it. And I wouldn't be showing anything that wasn't necessary, or that wasn't, you know, useful. Obviously, I'm... I'd be leaving out... Obviously, not everything uh, that I would be putting in would be necessary, because I've made the videos at 11 minutes rather than 25. I'm just trying to say that. This is like one of the most roundabout ways to get anywhere in this level for this secret. Basically, you just sort of like find your way up to the spirally shell, and then sort of work your way up to the top of the spiral. 
And if I remember correctly, we should be able to do a spin jump and a hover to get over to that thing over there, which I feel like I'm really going in circles here. Well, I guess I am. But no, I want the camera pointing. Stop it. Stop it. Don't control my camera for me, Nintendo. I'm smarter than you. This way, and I'm not going to make that jump. That's not going to be even close. Maybe I will make it. Go, go! Oh, you bastard! Well, this becomes a bit of a conundrum now, because I obviously don't have enough time left to do the actual secret. So we're going to have to find a workaround, guys. Maybe I can work my way up to the secret and then do it in the next video. Dude, I totally hit that rope. Don't even try to pull those shenanigans on me. I can see the rope bouncing. No, stop doing that. Stop it. Mario, I'm going to kill you. Ugh. Alright, so we've made it to the secret at least. So I will see you guys next time on this is Mario Sunshine, and we will head into the cells the, the shells secret, say that ten times fast, and get it done. See you then.